Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna try to explain to you what an object is, a grease pencil object, what it contains inside of that object, and how does the timeline fit into the, this whole thing. Uh, I'm gonna try to go to over layers, objects, collections, and timelines. It's all related to each other. So let's go ahead and get started. In this scene, we have two objects, two grease pencil objects. Uh, we've got more, more stuff but mostly we've got the green monster and we've got the blue monster we also have a a, a background uh it's just a plane um and then we've got some lights i've turned off some and i kept this light in the background and we're just going to go over the grease pencil objects in the previous video i showed you what the difference was between the grease pencil objects what is the difference between a blank a stroke a monkey and the default grease pencil object and so in each grease pencil object for example these two are different grease pencil objects in this one in the green one I've got all the materials that make up this object there they are uh, and I've got all the layers that were used in this object if I turn off this lines layer uh, you don't see anything else being affected but this object the fills and the shadow and also I've got a hidden layer uh, which is the sketch layer and, and some guides I use these two layers when starting up the sketch I sketched it out and then I, I drew the actual illustration so uh, everything layers materials are contained within this grease pencil object in fact there they are those are the layers the other thing that is contained within this grease pencil object is the timeline we will reveal our timeline let me uh end this at about 40. hit home so that it fits it in and then let's animate this um, we don't have any keyframes so i'm going to turn on auto keyframe and i'm going to hit i to insert a keyframe for the location. There it is. And then I'm going to go to 10 frames, move it here. It creates an automatic keyframe because we have it turned on. Move to 20 and then move it back. There it is. There's our animation. He just moves uh, to there and back. To there and back. And so this animation these keyframes belong to this um grease pencil object they belong to this grease pencil object if i click on this one there is no keyframes uh the one question i i get a lot is i lost all my keyframes and and it's probably because you have something else selected once you select that object you can see that your keyframes are within this object they are contained inside this object. So this grease pencil object contains the materials, the layers, and its keyframes. Now, what about the dope sheet? What do you use it for? The dope sheet is here to animate uh, frame by frame. This timeline, we've animated, uh, not frame by frame, this is called tween animation where the computer generates all the keyframes in between. That's why it's called tween animation. So what happens when I want to animate something other than the entire object? For example, the eyes. I want to animate the eyes. Uh, maybe I want him to look this way and then that way, but how can I animate him if they're part of this whole object? Well, you have to do that with the edit mode. Once you are in the edit mode, you can select all these items. I'm gonna select the eyes. And you can see that they have a keyframe. Let's go ahead and hit a keyframe at frame 10 and let's move these eyes over here somewhere. Let's here. And then let's go to frame 20 and then let's move them back to here. 
And so what happens? Now they're animated. They're going to go here and then here. Awesome. Uh, not so fast. You can see that they jump. There's only three keyframes and they jump to their position. I'm going to stop just so you can see the eye animation. I'm just going to delete these. Delete. Um, just so you can see the eye animation. It just jumps one from there to there. From there to there. So, not good. How can I get the in-between frames? How can I get these frames in between from there to there? From there to there. And so how do you generate the in-between frames? It's a little bit different here in uh, uh, 2.93. We used to have the interpolate uh, menu up here, and now we don't. Well, we go to the grease pencil um, menu, and here it is: interpolate sequence. Uh, and that oh, we need to, I need to be right in the middle of it. Interpolate sequence, and that generates all the keyframes in between, so that this is now a smooth animation, frame by frame. This is frame by frame. Uh, and and from here to here, it, it does not because we haven't interpolated it. And so this timeline belongs to this object in the edit mode. A lot of times you're in the edit mode and you select another object here, the blue monster, and it looks like it's selected, but you cannot, everything, everything is still for this green one. You can't just click on another um, object. You have to go to object mode. Click off of this one. This one is still selected. Click off of it and then click the one that you want. Once you see that little gray uh, highlight on the icon, that means you've got this one selected. Now you can go to edit mode and you can see that we haven't um, animated any of this in the dope sheet or the timeline in the edit nor in the object mode so again in the object mode you animate the entire thing let's animate it again let's go um move him over here creates it a um, creates a keyframe and then move him back creates a keyframe and then we can play you can see those eyes moving there and then snapping over here because we haven't interpolated it. Remember, if you want to go from object to object, you have to go back to the object mode and then you can select another object. Uh, each object is its own object with its, its own container, but you can have multiple objects in a collection. That's what a collection is, is like a group, this whole collection is all the objects and I can turn those off and on at will or the lights you can be organized in your scene and have all the lights all the objects within a collection this a collection is just a an organizational tool for your outliner hey guys I hope that this video has been a little bit useful to you and if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.